to film with friends Missing VHS videotape repeating Welcome back family and crew Today we're looking at Citizen Kane 1941 PG 1 hour and 59 minutes this VHS release is 1986, Fox Hills Video, The Nostalgia Merchant, a division of Heron Communications. Of course, Citizen Kane starring Orson Welles, Joseph Cotton, Agnes Moorhead, uh, who else? Ray Collins, Ruth Warwick, Dorothy Comingor. Generally, generally regarded as the finest film ever made in America, Citizen Kane is a st study of a powerful news new Newspaper publisher told by those who knew him best or thought they did. That's according to the back of this, and according to IMDb, it says, Following the death of publishing tycoon Charles Foster Kane, reporters scrambled to uncover the meaning of his final utterance, Rosebud. Now, I got this one, I believe, off uh, Half Price Books. Maybe it was Savers. Uh, I just thought it was a cool edition of it, uh, one I hadn't seen before. Tape's got a good amount of tape there, so the quality on it's really good. This is one I never originally owned on VHS. This is one I probably I never I don't think saw this movie until I was maybe nineteen, perhaps twenty. I bought the two disc DVD when it was first released that came with the documentary The Battle Over Citizen Kane. Uh, this is one of the ones that you hear about your entire life about how fantastic this movie is. It's one of the best films ever made, it's one of the greatest films ever made, the best film, best film. Orson Welles is amazing, blah blah blah. And so I was kind of I was expecting to have my 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 hopes dashed. Where it wasn't going to be that great, being it's 1941 and whatever, whatever. When I watched, it, I was actually really, truly blown away by the acting, by the the visual, the visual style, the editing, the shadows, the use of color, no, not color, the use of of uh, camera movement and editing and all that. This movie is fantastic. If you're a film fan and you talk about how great Star Wars is and you've never seen Citizen Kane, then you don't know what you're talking about. Of course, black and white, 120 minutes, read by Herman Mankiewicz and Orson Welles, mostly Herm Herman Mankiewicz though. Um, I think this is a fantastic film. The fact that Orson Welles did it so young is even more remarkable, uh, especially because he, you know, it's still almost a pretty new medium back in 1941 when this movie came out. Um, if you've never seen the documentary Battle Over Citizen Kane, you should check that out too. Uh, this kind of tells you the truth of where the idea for this came from. Obviously, it's kind of a parody of sorts on William Randolph Hearst and the term Rosebud, where that originally comes from. Uh, the hate of this movie when it first came out is remarkable, especially the fact that it became something so huge. Uh, the, check out the movie RKO 281 with Ray Fiennes. Not Ray Fiennes. Um, what's his name? Why did I say Ray Fiennes? Uh, Leo Schreiber. I was thinking of Ray Salt. The, the show he's on Ray something. And I said Ray Fiennes. Anyway, Leo Schreiber and... Uh, the late great Roy Scheider. Maybe that's what I was thinking. Uh, yeah, so Orson Welles, Joseph Cotton, Agnes Moorhead. Actually, probably not Orson Welles' best film, but probably one of his most important, of course. There's other ones that he did I like just as much. Uh, nevertheless, let me know your thoughts below. Is this movie overhyped? Is it overbloated? Um, or do you think it actually stands the test of time? Oh, I'd love to hear what you guys think. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'll see you next time.